The Church of the Most Holy Trinity, better known by its Italian name of Trinità dei Pellegrini, is a 17th century Baroque-style church located just a few blocks away from the ancient Roman Forum, adjacent to the district of Trastevere. The path leading up to the church runs parallel to the famous Tiber River, which is said to be the third longest river in all of Italy, measuring an impressive 252 miles. The church itself was designed by the Italian architect Francesco Paparelli and was technically completed in the year 1650, although its external facade would not be fully embellished until 1723. True to its namesake, the church does contain various forms of Trinitarian symbolism expressed throughout, such as the large painting of the Holy Trinity located above the main altar, as well as the painting of the Holy Family, which adorns its most significant side altar. Historically, the church was used as a shelter for the many pilgrims traveling through Rome on their way to the Vatican. As the centuries passed and better accommodations became available, the church was largely forgotten. For many decades leading into the modern age, a traveler would have no more reason to visit this church than any other. That all changed, however, with the declaration of Summorum Pontificum by Pope Benedict XVI in 2008. The subsequent expansion of the traditional Latin Mass resulted in the Church's entrustment to the priestly fraternity of St. Peter that same year. Since that time, the Church has become one of the most vibrant parishes in the city, and it is considered one of the Order's most important locations. Each year, thousands of people gather into this relatively small space to participate not only in the traditional Mass itself, but also to celebrate the anniversary of the Order's founding in 1988. That being the case, it's not surprising that many significant supporters of the Latin Mass have walked these halls at one point, to include Archbishop Sample, Bishop Athanasius Snyder, and Cardinal Raymond Burke. The latter has himself celebrated Mass in this church on various occasions. Having visited this church multiple times in recent years, I am compelled to remember a reflection from Cardinal Ratzinger about the future of the church itself how it will inevitably become smaller over time, but consequently much more vibrant. If this particular church is any indication, it is often the loss of something which informs us of its true value. Perhaps one day, the value of the faith itself will be appreciated, as the value of this particular church already is.